On our way to lava beds, we spent our first night in Deschutes National Forest. We kept running into snow and road closures. But eventually we found a ridge with a view of the Three Sisters. That's the middle and south sister right there. The next day we continued south. Klamath Falls. And there's these birds there. Grebes. It's their mating season. <laughs> mating dancing. Mating dancing. <laughs> they, they do this thing where they, they bob their heads and, and it's like they're copying each other. Mm -hmm. And then they just... They walk on water. Yeah, together. they walk. <laughs> they're Jesus birds. Why are they called grebes? I don't know, they should be called Jesus birds. They, and they're not flying, they're like running. No. They're running on the surface of the water. It's cold in there. Yeah. I don't see a light connecting to the other entrance though. No. It heads off a slightly different angle. Yeah, it's really cool. The air coming out of there is very cold. So. They don't want us to go in there this time of year because the bats. bats have some kind of disease there. They're getting white nose something. What do you think? Should we build our home here? No. No? What? The bats? Yeah. Yeah. Also, like with the front door open and the back door open, I bet you get a nasty breeze going through here in the winter. And where's the hot tub going to go? Oh, there's room for the hot tub. Mm -hmm. In fact, this is kind of like already built. We just need to like put a waterproof membrane down there and just fill it with water. <laughs> Let the rain do it for us. Turns out this little platform I'm sitting on is more than just a little stage. It goes back. I can't really see with this light, but it's. I'm now standing fully upright and it just keeps going. Okay. It's a lava tube and it's very flat. Uh, the floor is like this really smooth, flat floor. Watch your head on that rock. Huh. Is that the end? Or is it a... uh, you know, this might be the end right down here. No, it's not the end. Ooh, but there's light. Oh, no. no, that was just my own light. Wow, it just keeps going. Wow. How far do you want to go? About that far? Okay. <laughs> you want to see uh, not with just an iPhone light. I don't need to go any further. So we found this spot in Free Room app for. Uh, Boondocking spots. And apparently, there's a pretty good place right up here. It says we've got two miles to go on this road. And I'm guessing that we'll find our spot. It's so too quick to make it up there. So that's as far as we got. The van won't make this climb which means we're backing up to that last spot. Hey, where are we? Um, we're in Northern California. And we found this spot that's like right, like the, there's this little dirt road that we're on. Here's this little dirt road and it's going up it's spiraling up this cinder cone. And we tried to get a little further up the road and we couldn't, it got too steep. 
but we got this perfect little spot here. And it's got a few all around, and the sun is getting ready to set. You can even see the snow on the mountains over there. It's pretty windy. But warm. <laughs> but warm, yeah. And this is our view. Warmish. <laughs> Warmish. I mean, I'm wearing my jacket. You are. <laughs> <laughs> Also, these little um, remnants of uh, you know, volcanic activity all over the place, like this thing here. This is kind of cool. We're calling this the fortress. Wow. That is crazy. I'm oh surprised it doesn't pull the whole flower down. Yeah. Check it out. Here we are up at the rim of our caldera. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Just had thunder. Uh, didn't see any lightning, but uh, we're getting some rain. We are about two minutes later. We had to close this one because our books were getting wet. <laughs> <laughs> but we could open this one. I think so. This is very exciting. <laughs> this is pretty fun. <laughs> that was exciting. We just had a very loud thunderclap right over the top of us. Oh. I mean, we've got the caldera, which is higher up than us. <laughs> so we're not the highest thing sticking up. through the cleared area and then that other forest beyond it. So we're on that road through that burnt out forest. It looks like they're probably getting ready to do some salvage logging. A lot of the trees are marked last November. So now we're kind of in that clear area between the burnt forest and the green forest. How's it going? Yeah. The other thing we just noticed is it looks like there's another storm coming in. So we might have to cut this ride a little short. There's that snowy top glass mountain, I think it was called. There's home. We're going to turn back. All right, so somewhere along the way. Oh my God. So 
for no rain. Just start to fall. <laughs> the wind has come up. Hello. Hello. Why are you cooking inside? Can you hear that? <laughs> it's it's like 30 mile an hour winds out there. <laughs> I could not get the stove lit. I tried, but I could not get the stove lit in that wind. <laughs> so we turned the table upside down and put rocks on it. So where are we at? This one's called Mush Pot. We checked out uh, a couple of caves yesterday, and this one's right by the visitor center, just a short walk. So we're checking it out. They've put lighting in here. They've put a uh, uh, cement walkway in. I'm not sure if I can capture this, but on the ceiling. Like it looks almost luminescent, except I know it's reflecting my light. It looks kind of like uh, stars in the sky. This one's called Indian Cave. still see the light from the entrance. So here we are coming out the upper entrance of the Sentinel Cave. And there's a natural bridge sitting here. Check that out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure you don't want to come? No, for sure. Okay, yeah. see ya. This is inside the labyrinth cave. Looks like it pretty much dead ends that other direction. There's a small little tunnel you could crawl and I'm not going to do that. Oh, not sure. be able to see. <laughs> so this is kind of cool. You can go either underneath, it's a bit of a crawl, but hands and knees, not belly, um, or there's this Kind of smooth climb you can go up and over. So it looks like this is a a T. You could go either left or right. I don't think this goes very far over to the left. Ooh, actually, <laughs> it does. It keeps going. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty low, but it keeps going as far as I can see. Huh. Let's try this one first. Definitely the main path. Oh my gosh. 
there's an exit. Check that out. And there's two exits. You go this way, or you go this way. And this is definitely the main path. But look at that. That's interesting. So there's a bunch of entrances here and they're all connected. Labyrinth, Lava Brook, and the Lava Brook, you can actually go either direction. You go down that way, or you go down that way. This connects to the first one that you've got to do a, a belly crawl for a little bit. And then I ended up going all the way from that first entrance up to Thunderbolt. Down here, which is about a couple hundred yards maybe. And at the end, you can actually see a light coming from over here too. You could go out either one. Ooh. So I'm standing on the top of, it looks like, where you would crawl out of here. But then it also looks like it continues up that way. Takeaways? It's worth the visit. I think so too. I think probably I have a different takeaway than you because I mm -hmm. could totally see going back there and doing some more cave I would go back cave there exploration. with grandchildren. Oops, maybe you need to take that out. <laughs> I don't know, it's out there. Once Ocean. you put it out there, no, no, it just no. it escapes and then there's nothing you can do. No, let's take that. <laughs> Anyways, I would love to climb into some of the, the, the like deeper, interesting, like more confined parts of those caves and just yeah, you go. see where they go. I'll I'll pack a picnic. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. All right, Soka, what can you tell us about this part of the cave? Well, this is very clear was built by the Romans. Can you can see how they were brick by brick and then cement in between. Man, those guys got everywhere. Those, those Romans got around. <laughs> <laughs>